Okay. Well, firstly, I look at state. I look at state. I have a broken... Broken hand on a wrist. Which is getting better. Very, very painful. But, um, so... Oh, everything is twice as much effort. And, which means, Olivia... Just... Oh, I haven't got around to brushing her hair or doing anything this morning. Got to try and have a shower at some stage. Got to, like, clean up. The cats have been locked inside. Um, for days, because of the, the dog, which is gone. The dog has decided to go now, the, the new dog. But I'm sure it'll be back. It comes back to get fed. But I don't really want to trap that dog. It's a wild dog. And it likes its freedom. I did lock it in a, a conservatory one day. And it just wanted to go. And it has a brother or sister. Or, that's running around town somewhere. And these dogs are on the street. It, it's not happy being shut up. Maybe slowly, slowly I will wean it into like getting into it. Out. But if it doesn't want to be here. I don't want to enforce my will on something. Um, apart from the whole of the universe, no. <laughs> See, the whole, because oh, I'm going to talk about that. I, the lessons, the lessons from 2014 and 2013 as well. It's since 2012. And the Mayan calendar is so debatable and so... The information it's based on is so flimsy. I haven't taken much notice of it. But there's been a definite change of energy, whether it's affected everyone psychologically or the dog. Oh, I'm just going to kill a dog. Just give me one moment, please. Rhea. Let's see what you want. The dog's been in the cellar. The cellar's getting dug out. So the dog's at the moment using it as a toilet. Come here. Okay, it's a get off it. Come on. Quick. Can I never make a video with my misbehaving? All of you, cats and cats and dogs. Oh, God. Manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. Right. <laughs> so, the lesson for me, and I noticed for so many other people, got my makeup on, sorry, uh, for other people, is, is manifesting. Getting used to people who are very self aware, learning and gaining faith and the ability to manifest creative, uh, conscious creating of recognizing for everybody, doesn't matter what faith you're in, how much your thoughts, your prayers, however you want to perceive it. Uh, manifesting your reality and the more aware you are of that the more you can focus on what you're thinking and bring about desired desired things future events um, uh, and attract things into your life the law of attraction I mean so it's this old philosophy from the old world religion from thousands of years ago the the all those old philosophies which are now been seen as new agey because people are taking bits from here there and everywhere all talking about the same thing and I know Christians are going to jump up and down saying that, that if you think of God as a field if you think of God as a field, then you're a Luciferian. Well, I'm sorry, but if you read your Bible with that in mind, just open-mindedly read your Bible, it's talking about the same 
thing, the father of creation, the, the little spark in the middle which filters down into creation and the spark that's in the centre of all things. The, the God, the life, the, the, the multiverse as a whole, the force that combines that. If you read your Bible like that, then it will make more sense to you. And you won't be running around wanting to judge everybody. Just, just an observation. And so anyway, so for last, for, for me, for my personal lessons, I have been observing and experimenting consciously with the effects on my material world, my this plane of existence and my life on it through changing my thinking to changing my thinking, catching myself out what I think to change and changing it if it's negative to focusing that I already have what I want that I'm in that bath that I'm going to put outside with a fire under it that I'm in the house in Bulgaria I'm going to move to but I'm already there in my mind and voila I am now already here and focusing for hours sometimes a day catching myself going but you can't do that because this is going to happen and this is and you're not going to have enough money to do this and this and that, that stop go and sit in the house you want in your mind go so I've been learning I think that's what that the whole part of this since 2012, the majority of people I'm talking to are having the practical learning experience of how manif how they're manifesting and learning more on how to control that and, and how it's working and changing their mode of thinking over from I must do this to get to that and I must scrimp and save and do and this and that to okay even if I have to do those things I can focus on I'm already there and keep my focus there that's where that is amazing look at this I'm sure I want to show you I know I'm being scatty but I am scatty because my mind doesn't work in linear it works laterally. People find me very hard to follow. Try. Try. If you can relate to it, it's great. If you can't, turn it off. But look at the snow before you turn it off. It's quite beautiful. And the sun. I hope it's going to show because it's camera. Oh, yeah. In the winter. This is Bobby Harry in the winter. Can you see it then? It is beautiful. It really is beautiful, isn't it? Snow. Oh, trying to lift the computer up with my hand. It's not easy. Yeah. Hopefully you saw that. That's a beautiful, beautiful place. For me, right, okay. So talking about manifesting, I've decided I don't want to be, I don't want someone to move, do you know what frightens me about having a relationship with God here, Olivia, manifesting beauty, <laughs> uh, is that for the first time, and the houses, I've, I've had houses before in relationships, the men take over. Why do men feel I have to take over and control everything? And so it's ended up with like, the only time I've had it is when I've been working for people, men, and I've been doing, creating gardens and that for them in the past, and then I don't want anything to do with it. Get on with it. But now I'm doing my own place. I have men, local men. Oh, you should plant this there, you should do this there, you should do that there, you should do. And that, without that, life would be so easy. With that, life is exhausting. Men 
چک هستم در هست به چه آمده جامعه نر سای ای ای بود فرد از شرگو منفیسنگ و مور فاکسان را الوی ایل موی کنه اترکتر این کتاب فاکسه سای ای ای هف هاس اند پیس لین which I can create is a canvas for me. I can create it into my little sacred space. Um, and that's what I come here for. So I'm alone, but I can still have, if I want, maybe a partner who has their own house. And I've been talking to a friend. It's time that Olivia has a partner. I actually don't need one. I don't need a partner. And being free from attachments in that way is very good because it's the first time in my life I don't. I'm not looking for it. The partner's not the first time but Usually I'll get there and then instantly I've got somebody who <laughs> just comes along. It's nice to do whatever I want. If I want to live like a slob for a week, I'll live like a slob for a week and focus on my garden. If I want to do whatever I want to do, I can do it without some man there going, but you should, oh, I've told you, all right, all right. And, and, and that I hate. I don't hate it. It, I totally, totally end up despising them and just wanting to kill them. <laughs> I just want to kill them. Anyone ever seen War of the Roses? If it, because it's, it's never, where would you like this to go? You should put this here. Where would you like this to go? Or, yeah, it's no... Oh, this should, and you should, you should, you should, you should, you should shut up. So, I don't know, I don't know, but my friends are saying to me, and I feel that it's time. So, what I've done is ordering from the universe. I wrote down all the things that my, yeah, which it ended up as compatible, <laughs> a compatible partner. So I wrote down everything like that is, you know, compatible with my spirituality, compatible with blah, 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 and also somebody who has their own project. If they want to help me, fantastic, but helping me as in I can't lift this over here by myself. Would you help me? Not help me as in come and take complete control. And, yeah, end up with Olivia. So, I don't know. I don't know. I enjoy my own company. But I also like to have someone, if it was someone that was compatible with me. And I don't want to control any, you know, some people might think, oh, she's a control freak. But I don't want to control anybody. I just want to maintain control over my direction in life and my, it's like painting a painting. I lock myself away, I've you got people going, oh why don't you do, why don't you do this? And you know, all I want to do is like rip it up and throw it away. Because, the, yeah, standing on my canvas. Yeah, so I don't, I'm, you know, creative minds. Still, maybe. So, anyway, so I've done this list. Burnt it. To send it off. I put it down onto the material plane. Now I'm sending it off into the world of wishes. And my friend, who is great at co creating with me, and things like she sang, she, wanted, she was a singer, and she wanted to start singing again like a couple of days of. I was working on that, focusing on that. And she, yeah, what well, was the next day? I've had a phone call. I've had this. I've had an email. I've been asked to blah, blah, and bang. Good. So now, 
there's a man coming. And then she says he looks like Jesus. I hope she wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> Hey, she wasn't being sarcastic. No, no, sure she wasn't. She said he looks a bit like Jesus. Well, he's going to look older than Jesus, I'm sure. But she said he looks a bit like Jesus coming. Slowly. My life will align to where this person is. Interesting. Anyway, let's see if it happens. I, I'm not really sure. I haven't got my mind in the place where I'm visualising this and seeing it. And, you know, I'm a perfect day. I had car accident, broken, tranny. To so, say, you know, all these things. I don't know. But this is an interesting challenge. Anyway, the focus is not going to be on that solely. That's just like a thing that's been put there and it will be allowed to happen. The focus is on my house in the garden and picturing things like the porch out the front that's got to go out the front from the top room in the big part of the house which I don't really live in at the moment all of these things all of these things damn it's just stunningly beautiful here I wish I had this unplugged I will take you upstairs and show you out the window. Show you out the window. From up there. I, mean, I can't stop looking out the window. It is stunning. It's stunningly beautiful. Got my fire going. Slowly. The wood's going down. And, yeah. Anyway, so the new year, this year, is, instead of just... These exercises were manifesting and starting to leave for a lot of people with this conscious creating happening. Now it being integrated into everything. And I was watching children's programs and seeing how much this is coming to the forefront of focus. And then bling, something appears, focusing and it's good, it's good, and I have a feeling I have a feeling that something miraculous is going to happen globally. What a better. Why? Because I'm not a stupid person. I don't really live in La La Land. I might seem so, but it's only from experiences and experimenting that I'm into metaphysics. I have a feeling what we're seeing is not going to lead to what we think with all this trouble around the globe. I have a feeling, and I've got goosebumps now, and like electricity going through me, that it's going to be something miraculous happening from all of this crisis, and even the people instigating it. I don't fully understand that because they're only puppets of these forces above anyway but yeah very interesting I feel and even if I don't feel it I am going to feel it a miraculous turnabout and change from all of this craziness Politically and globally at the moment. And the more people realise what they focus on, it will appear. 
it will appear in some form further down the line. Man, you stink to me. Done. But, yeah. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to help my neighbours make Martin Nixon, which is bracelets, um, which are going to be proper fun. Uh, it's for the spring. I'm threading, me and the kids are threading these little beads and things. Okay, okay. Snap out of it, Olivia. Get organised. Sweep the floor, because it's covered in all sorts of crap. Sweep the floor, and get on with your day, and get in that shower. Namaste. Ciao, from Bulgaria. <laughs>